Hi guys, welcome back if you are returning. Welcome if this is your first time stopping by. If you are newly subscribed, welcome to the family. I love Thai food. So tonight I am recreating a Thai inspired basil fried rice. I can't call it Thai basil fried rice because I don't have Thai basil. <laughs> so you wanna use leftover rice, that's best. Of course, if you don't have leftover rice, you can use fresh rice. But I cooked that rice yesterday and I just left it on the stove um, so I could use it today. If you find that your rice is sticky, you can just wet your hands or your utensil and that should help you release the rice grains. So this is brown jasmine rice I'm using here. I'm making a shrimp fried rice, so I have some shrimp. I left the shells on the tails just for presentation and a little bit of flavor that it will add to the rice. And then I have onions, a sauce, green onions, and red peppers. Let's get started. I have added to my pan there about two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil, and I'm pressing in one clove of garlic. You can use more or less depending on your taste. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in my peppers and onions and let those saute together for about a minute. I'll also be adding some chili peppers, so we'll see that later. I just moved the peppers and onions to the side and I'm going to throw in the shrimp. I'm just going to cook them until they're done because you don't want them overcooked. Okay, my shrimp are done. I took them out and I'm going to go ahead and add my green onions. And then I'll add um, the sauce. If you salted your rice, you'll want to adjust the amount of sauce that you use. There is my chili. I'm going to just break that into three pieces and throw it in the pot so it releases just enough heat. If you want it really spicy, you can chop that up finely. Um, and do remember to take those chilies out before you crunch on them while you're eating. <laughs> so now I'm adding the rice. I'm going to mix that in nicely so that it's well coated with all the sauce. And then I'm just gonna allow it to warm up since it's already cooked. Time to add our basil leaves. Again, I didn't have Thai basil, so I'm just using regular basil. Um, and then I add the shrimp, toss it all together. Again, just let the flavors blend for about a minute or two. And our fried rice is ready. Taste for salt, add more sauce if you need to. And let's plate our rice. And there we have it, guys, our basil fried rice. Give it a shot, let me know what you think and I'll catch you next time. Bye.